we're going to this is going to be an introduction into surfaces using civil 3d 2010 we're going to create a surface from a 10 triangulated in regular network contours and survey points first thing I like to do is create a new drawing based on a, a good template these templates often carry with them uh, good new styles that you can use to to better see your contours in your surfaces versus if you save as you'll just get the standard style and it doesn't have a lot of features in it the first thing that I want to look at is the actual surface commands up here this does create surfaces from the digital elevation model which is kind of a GIS type data that you get online this is from a 10 like it from your LDD or older programs triangulate irregular network and you also can create one from Google which I have a video for that it takes a little more time to do so we won't do that one and of course some grading in corridors which are advanced techniques also in your tool space here you can see that there is no surface data in here which that's your tool space is where your data is um, because we haven't created anything yet so we're going to go ahead and create a surface from a 10 now a 10 all you have to do is know where the data is previous from LDD or whatever program and you just go to that data directory where it may be and it'll show you the dot TIN click on that and open and that's pretty much all there is to that that's pretty simple and kind of check your contours and make sure everything came in looking good so we're going to wipe that out the next thing we're going to take a look at <clears throat> is create a surface from 3D polyline or contours from various aerials or topos that you may get in again these must be 3D polylines more or less that's uh, what you want to use in that re in those regards so in order to do this we go over to our tool space right button up on surfaces will create a surface we can call this EG for existing ground and we can notice that it creates a data rollout on your right here if you hit the pluses on that you can look at the various data that this surface uh, can contain it doesn't have anything right now but we're going to put something in there so we have contours so we're going to right button add contours we can call these EG as well and then we can select the contours and there's our surface and you'll notice and you can always check that it kinda follows the contours to make sure there's no bust in it now if you do want to create a break line let's say you want to cut out some of the areas such as in here you just do a plain old polyline and let's kinda go for example if you don't want to include certain areas and you could make it around the edges if you take more time and just cut out this little area here if, if that's what you wish to do and go to add boundaries should be the outer you can call this BD1 and select the polyline and now you notice that your your actual surface is trimmed back to the green line here and that's your new surface boundary now you'll notice these contours are still in here the 3d polylines now here's a thing that most people need to remember don't forget especially introduction in this do not delete those ever because that's what your data is based on if you, if you want to get rid of them or get them out of there just go over here up here to freeze them or something like that turn them off or and then you can see your surface that you actually have which is in the civil 3d now but you don't ever want to get rid of those contours because your data is based off those and if you get rid of them then you <coughs> essentially you're getting rid of your your data basis for your contours here so you want to leave those um, turned off or somewhere else <coughs> one thing that you, you might want to do is you want to add some L, um, contour interval elevations on these you go to annotate 
add labels over here and you'll scroll down under surface and then go to like I always use single you can do a multiple and then you can you know, say pick which line and just click there and you can add labels from your annotation surface add labels command if you need to do that and that's a way to create a surface using contours okay so now we're going to erase that one, wipe it out. Again, you notice that the surface disappears and, uh, if you do that. The next thing we want to do is go back home and we're going to create a surface uh, from, from survey data points. So the first thing we'll do is click on points and hit the point creation tools and we'll hit the right button over it says import points. Now we need to know the format of this and the format if we look at the actual file we'll notice this is point number, northern coordinate, eastern coordinate, elevation and this would be your description. So that's point north in east e and z for elevation and d for description so now we know the format of our data and that's very important you need to know that in order to get this right and that's how we set it up and you'll notice that it has other formats as well your e, e and z is more your auto uh, cad xyz data so we're going to pick P N E Z D and comma delimited because it had commas in it. We'll hit plus and we'll add that. It should be a text file. Uh, it's your ASCII file. And we'll hit OK. And there's our points. Now you'll notice that there's nothing really showing up on these points as far as the uh, descriptions and elevations. All you got to do is just click on one of those points, right button point group properties and then you want to go to look here and you'll see your point style and uh, you can change that to different things if necessary we'll just leave it as basic but the label is what we don't have and we want to put go down to point elevation and description we can go ahead and hit that and hit OK and there's our points now we can if you change your scale it'll automatically rescale those down so you can see them a little bit better if you go to like a 20 scale so now we the other thing that we want to do is, is we want to create a surface like we did before and we'll call this one EG again and we'll toggle on down to EG definitions just like we did for the contours this time we don't have contours data we have um, actually a point group is what we're going to use because um, we don't have the other data. The one thing I want to do is I noticed looking at this drawing is this is the only area that I need contours in so I want to hit and go down to create a new group and we'll call this topo and we want to include and we'll hit the first box and select in drawing because we know that pretty much all these points in here need to be selected. Maybe not that when you hit your shift key, hold down your shift key and then click on that. We want to include that one. Hit enter, it tells you what points you have up here, then you can hit OK. Now you've created a point group to add to the surface which won't contour in errors down in this area. So we go down our point groups and we add, we hit topo and there's another way of creating a surface through data points and the one thing that that uh, you may have to add in in this is if you have something like a ditch a center line of a ditch then you would want to put set this to node and we'll go set some points a polyline
your ditch. It looks like it's fairly good right now, but you want to put your brake lines in if you don't already have them established man, uh, from the, the surveyor. This is center line of ditch. And this is just an example of how to do that. If you had top of bank, you'd want to go down as well and draw some in there. Only the features of your tops, your toes, and all that. You just simply draw in this line, and then you go to break lines, add. And this is going to be a stand, um, by proximity, meaning it's a, uh, probably a 2D line that's going to project down onto the surface. And we can call this. Um, BRK1 and we'll see if this helps any we'll grab that and you can see how it straightened out the ditch so that's necessary and if you had some tops of banks or other ditches you'll need to add the various brake lines to help your data look better so there's an introduction into three different methods of uh, creating a surface by 10 uh, contours and survey points good deal